Something a little bit different today, guys. We're looking at one of our newest machines within the manufacturing plant at HQ. Often we look at where the parts end up on vehicles, but today we've got Tim, our operations manager, and we'll talk through our latest Integrex. Yeah, thanks Heath. So this is our newest bit of gear. It's a Mazak Integrex J200S. It's a, um, it's a multitasking twin spindle mill turn machine. Does everything basically. Does everything, yeah. So John Hart's obviously a long term partner of Harrop. Like the relationship goes back over 30 years. So where did that, that kicked off early 80s. What was, what was the start? Yeah, so early 80s. So first machine we purchased through John Hart was a, a two axis load. And during that long relationship, we've purchased many different types of machines. Um, lays with milling attachments, uh, very axis machines, twin pallet horizontal machining centers where we machine our, all our supercharger and brake product, um, up to our multitasking Integrex machines. Yeah, diversity of products obviously key to our business. So whether it's an industrial customer or whether it's a four wheel drive or a performance guy, we've got the equipment and the facility to actually create the products that we actually we make. Yes, yeah, so all, all the machines need to be really flexible to allow us to swap between products easily. So all the machines that we have, they're, they're not just set up just doing the one job all the time. We need to be able to be agile and swap between a differential product one day to a, to a crankshaft the next day or a wheel the day after or then a military or aerospace part the day after that. So having the equipment to be able to do that is very important. And John Hart, they obviously supply us with world-class machines like this and we've got world-class operators to run the machines, but the cutting tool technology is so critical as well. Is cars our supplier there and how does that play a role in the way we actually get the tolerances that we need to maintain the quality? Yeah, so, so like, uh, like John Hart, Iscar have been a long-term long -term supplier and partner with Harrop and we, uh, we use their cutting tool technology to make sure we're using our machines to their optimum. Um, and the cutting tools that they supply to us enable us, enable us to do that. So whether it be a face mill drills or specialty end mills, um, they can provide the solutions for us to do that. And they work closely with us, like if we've got a particular part or a particular customer requirement, often there's innovation in the way the, the cutting tool is, is manufactured to enable us to achieve what we need. Yeah, exactly. So machining different types of materials all the time, you know, from cast iron to to billet product and titanium and even plastics or what have you. So this car works closely with our production engineers to, to look at the componentry that we're doing and then the machining cycles that we have to make sure we're you know, reaching the best outcomes. So obviously Mazak's our preferred uh, machine tool supply via John Hart. Like, what are some of the factors that keep us going back to Mazak versus some of the other, the other machines that are available on the market? Yeah, I guess a number of features on the Mazak machine. Um, so we've been using them for a while. The, the control that they use, the Mazatrol control in various guises, is uh, very user friendly. And we find that our, uh, all our guys on the floor, the, the guys who are operating the machine, can converse with it very quickly and get programs up and running very quickly. So this machine is quite versatile in that it can actually take a cast part. And let's grab one of those now. So this cast iron casting comes from a foundry here in Australia and we machine that in one operation in this machine to create a cap for our wheel locker differentials. So what sort of cycle time do we see on a part like this to be fully machined? Well this is a, a fairly simple simple part, uh, something like that we're looking at around about a nine minute cycle but all these machines are very flexible in what they can do so we need to be very agile in the type of work that we do so whilst today this machine might be setting up and machining these e-locker or differential caps, tomorrow we could be machining an aerospace part. So. This machine has a 72 tool magazine and enable us to swap the job between, between job and job very quickly. That's great Tim, thanks for the insight to Harrop and our key partnerships with John Hart and Iska. Yeah, thank you.